Hello, viewers, and welcome to the latest GA huddle. I'm with uh, Chris Justice, uh, now CEO of Pavilion Payments. Chris, thanks for joining us again. Hey, thanks so much. It's great to be here with you today. Thanks so much. No problem at all. Um, when, we, when we last kind of interviewed you, it was uh, as president of Global Payments. Uh, now we've got we've got something sort of new, slightly different, um, new but not too new. I'll, I'll let you tell us all about it. Um, can you tell us about the, the repositioning of, of your brand into Pavilion Payments? Absolutely. Well, Pavilion Payments is the largest vertically integrated payments provider in the gaming industry. And as we've transitioned from Global Payments Gaming Services into the new name of Pavilion, we're going to continue to offer the same great suite of value-added services that we deliver to the gaming industry that include the, uh, the, the industry's most powerful cashless solution, uh, our omni-channel solutions that are, that are driving iGaming and sports betting across the country. Uh, driven primarily by VIP Preferred, our consumer program that has three and a half million uh, registered gaming users on it. Um, it. But it's still the same team, the same tech stack, um, the same core capabilities, just with added infusion of capital that'll help us to drive a whole bunch of uh, interesting new things to benefit the industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you've touched on it there in terms of the, the infusion of capital, but can you talk to us a little bit more about the, the strategic rationale behind the move and, and why in particular did you land on, on the name Pavilion? Well, it's it, it, we landed on the name Pavilion because as you can imagine, as, as I think you know, we're planning to talk about rebranding, re the amount of time and effort it takes to really land on a good name uh, it takes an incredible amount of work. So the really the name pavilion which is the a meeting place for purposeful gatherings uh in purposeful meetings our goal here is really the it's pulling a very powerful line of products and solutions together with consumers as well as with gaming operators to pull them all together under one roof to be able to deliver some powerful commerce experiences and guest experiences along the way so uh that's really the the Kind of the dri key driver behind the name Pavilion, mm -hmm. and you mentioned the you know the the, the time and, and and resources it, it takes and you know cost when it comes to rebranding. Um, we recently wrote about kind of the power of the rebrand in Gambling Insider magazine. Um, I guess the way to rephrase that is, given that the time, effort, and resources and, and costs uh, long term, you know, how powerful is it? Uh, do the long term benefits of, of making that change, uh, you know, outweigh and 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 make it. Um, justify, you know, the, the resources to actually make that change? It's Well, it, it, and only time will tell. I think for, for organizations that are trying to shed uh, challenging times in the past, right, a, a rebrand gives them the opportunity to re-envision themselves. That's not the case here. We had a very powerful brand before. Uh, the substantial amount of, of uptime reliability uh, service, incredible service support and capabilities that we delivered as Global Payments Gaming Services, right, is is certainly part of our culture, part of our history that we will continue to have going forward with the new name. So, as we look to as we look to to rebrand under the Pavilion banner and and continue to drive that forward, we're going to continue to have all of those same great capabilities that we had before. Just now, we're going to be driving that forward with some some enhanced new investment that are going to allow us to propel our product development pipeline in amazing new ways. We've already doubled the size of our service organization and our tech support teams. So uh, to me, I think the, the rebranding hopefully just adds incremental value to to the organization that we're that we're going for. But uh but but fundamentally, right? We we do have a deep history, twenty plus years in the gaming industry, and uh, we you know we continue to want to deliver the same depth and capability of services that we've always delivered. Yeah, in a, on a day to day basis, you know, how much does the business change? Um, is it a case that actually it, it doesn't change that much, and it's as you say, just that uh, what you're aiming for that incremental value, slight ch tweaks here and there. Well, you know, it, it's, what's the rate of change? I guess is my my question there. 
Well, the rate, rate of change is pretty significant. We're adding 48% more people to the organization over the course of the next six months. We've already doubled, uh, doubled down on our service organization and our tech support organization. So I believe our customers are already feeling the, the enhanced benefits of delivering those kinds of capabilities. Um, but it's the same management team, uh, but with the infusion of a lot of really powerhouse uh, I industry people that are kind of going to come in and help us to take the business to a whole nother level. We have a, a we have a culture of execution, and I think our customers will be able to see and feel these changes for months and years to come. When it comes to your role in particular, uh, how do you reflect on the, the, the appointment as a CEO? Is it is it you know a, a job title change or are there going to be sort of different tasks and responsibilities with that? Again, sort of similar question, but with regards to your role specifically. You bet. Well, first and foremost, I, I really want to share my gratitude to the to the team here at the at the organization. We've got some amazing people who have who have delivered uh, tremendously over the over the years, and all of those people are going forward with this organization uh, going forward. So, my role as president of Global Payments Gaming Services fundamentally is the same as as now CEO of Pavilion. I have the same scope of responsibility. Uh, we have ownership of our tech stack. We've got uh, uh, ownership of all of our core capabilities. Global payments will continue to be our payment processor on the backside. So it's very much a it's very much the same role, leading the same group of industry professionals that have done such a great job over the last twenty plus years. Mm -hmm. uh, given that continuity, obviously we're. we're um... First quarter of, of 2023, heading into the second quarter now. For the rest of the year, what are your kind of business aims and uh, what are you aiming to achieve within the market? Well, as, as Wayne Gretzky always said, you need to skate to where the puck is as opposed to where or skate to where the puck's going to be as opposed to where it is. And we continue to do that. Um, we, we've got a very passionate culture of driving innovation. We were the first to launch a, a, a cashless mobile mobile solution into the gaming space that's delivered just incredible results for our customers. And we're continuing to grow and enhance those solutions. We've got a, a very key position in iGaming and sports betting uh, where we deliver our VIP preferred service uh, for three and a half plus million guests um, across the ecosystem to drive, uh, you know, deposit and withdrawal value to our gaming operators. So we're going to continue to enhance all of those products and solutions to make them better and better. Because ultimately, if we can do a much better job as an industry of removing the friction from participation and enabling the same kinds of capabilities that each one of us has in our daily lives outside of gaming, and we can make that speed and efficiency kind of co coefficient uh, powerful in the gaming space, it will continue to, to drive enhanced loyalty and capability for the guests, which ultimately drives value for our casino operators. Bearing that in mind, my, my final question for you is, is if we're sitting here in a year's time, uh, which, which I hope we will be discussing, kind of reflecting the last 12 months for, for Pavilion, uh, given the kind of repositioning and, and rebrand and, and the incremental values and, and, and extra kind of uh, personnel that you've talked about. Um, if we were to look back on that first 12 months since the repositioning, what would what would you have achieved if you could sit there and tell me that, yes, this is exactly the year that I wanted? Well, I think first and foremost, the thing that uh, the thing that we want to we want to look back on over the next 12 months, and, and this really isn't more of an internal focus component, is we want to be on the Forbes best places to work list. Uh, so we've got a variety of things that we're putting in place to make sure that all of the associates that are part of uh, that are part of Pavilion Payments, right, are incredibly impassioned about working here, and that we're delivering the the right set of benefits and programs that enable them to want to be here. Because I've got a firm belief that if our if we've got committed employees, our committed employees will do great things for our customers and our customers will ultimately do great things for us. So how we're going to go about treating our, our organization, I think, is a, is, a, is a top priority for what we're trying to accomplish. That also translates into the acceleration of our product development roadmap. Uh, as I mentioned, our cashless solution is second to none in delivering some powerful results. We've got a variety of enhancements that we want to bake into that because 
all of this is really around creating a solution that delivers value to the guest. Because if we can get value delivered to the guest, that's going to drive adoption. And adoption is the only thing that is really the most important component at the moment for making sure that there's success, because that success ultimately delivers financial rewards for our casino customers. Mm -hmm. And then lastly would be how we are continuing to enhance our programs in the iGaming and sports betting, betting areas through the acceleration of the roadmap that, we were, that we've been talking about. So I think there are gonna be some very palatable changes in what we're able to do for the industry over the course of the next uh, 12 months. And uh, I look forward to putting time on our calendar for us to come back and talk about specifically what those results are going from 23 to 24. Well, fantastic. I, I definitely look forward to, to that catch up. But in the meantime, thank you very much for your time as always, Chris, and best of luck with, with everything that you're, you know, you're aiming to achieve over these next sort of, uh, few months. Well, thanks so much. I really appreciate your time today. Thanks, Chris.